Stephen Jackson shares his insight on women NBA coaches. You asking her to compromise a lot of things and you asking those players to compromise a lot of things. As an NBA player, you get into it with male coaches all the time. I've heard players call coaches bitch. I've called my coach a bitch before. You can't say that to no woman. Ever in life. You can't ever say that to a woman. So asking a woman to coach multi-million dollar, hundred million dollar men with egos is putting the men and the female coach in a tough position. You know what I'm saying? Can she do it? Yeah, she probably could. But I feel like it should be no men coaches in the WNBA. It's already hard enough for actual NBA players who have won championships, Chauncey Billups, who have coached the championships, Sam Cassell. All these guys deserve head coaching jobs too. And when 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 ex NBA players go coaching the WNBA, that's taken away from the women jobs. Right? That's taken away from the women jobs in the WNBA. So it's it, it's it's a tough conversation, man, because I know players and I know the millionaire, the hundred million dollar players and their egos. They don't listen to the coaches. They don't listen to the male coaches. So you 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 expect them to listen to a female coach? The big three in the NBA is two different things, bro. And y'all gotta understand. Y'all gotta understand, get out your feelings and, and, and understand the facts. You asking men to compromise a lot by letting a woman coach them. And you asking that woman to compromise a lot too by coaching these men because she got to deal with those egos. It's a lot of emotion that's deal to, that, that, that comes with professional sports, y'all. It's a lot of emotion that comes with professional sports. And coming out the game, you asking the NBA player that's emotional to, to control his emotions coming out the game. That's not right. That's not fair to the player and that's not fair to the woman coach. But you got so many thirst NBA ex-players that would never get a job and don't deserve an NBA coaching job and they run to the WNBA and take these women coaching jobs. And that's not right. Because then again, when you coaching women, you gotta be careful with what you say to them. As a man, as a man coach, when you coaching men, when you tap, when you, when you uh, when you say good job and tap another man on the butt, that's a part of basketball. You don't, you don't, you don't have to watch where you hit a man. It's it, it just tapping him on the butt. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it go. But you don't ever want to put them women in a position where they got to compromise themselves and compromise the, the way they want to coach because they're coaching a whole bunch of men with egos, emotional men, just because they're making money. You got a lot of you got a lot of men in the NBA that's making a lot of money that ain't good. And when she coaching them, and she might not play them because she know they're not good, they gonna have an attitude with her. And they might say something that they really don't mean out of emotion because sports is all emotional games. Uh, you you wouldn't understand that if you never played on a professional level, and. It, it, it will be hard for you to take yourself out the equation and think about that when you don't even love yourself. So the people that's on here that, that, that don't love themselves, that's, that, that's looking for drama, you can log off, bro. All right? Because you don't have no understanding. You don't even like looking at yourself in the morning. But people who are intelligent, people who can take them, the emotion out of the situation and think with common sense, because... 95 95% of people on social media don't have common sense. 95% of them hiding behind the egg avatar. 95% of them page private and they follow people that they they, they they so that's I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people with common sense, smart people. I would never want my daughter if she had an opportunity to coach in the in the NBA, I wouldn't want that because I I'm an NBA player. I played 14 years. I'm an NBA champion. I know the egos we have. I know the egos we have, and, and I know the things that we say to male coaches. You know what I'm saying? I, and, 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 and you never want to put the coach, the female coach or the NBA player in that position. But we wouldn't even be talking about this if these NBA players that would never get a job 
in the NBA coaching, they run to the WNBA and try to take these women jobs. That's what they do. And it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't about being the first to do something, dog. It's about being right. It ain't about being the first to do something. If a woman gets an NBA coaching job, we must support her. We have to support her. It's, a, it's our job to support her. But at the same time, it's going to be a lot of compromising. And when you compromise, it's going to be hard to do your job. You know what I'm saying? When you compromise, it's, it's, it's going to be hard to do your job. It's a tough situation. It's, it's a tough conversation, bro. It's a tough conversation. It's a tough conversation, and it's a conversation that people don't like. People don't like talking about real things like this. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why so many people hate hate to be themselves or are or, 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 or not confident enough to say things because one, they can't stand behind their comments, and two, they don't have no education or no experience in in the topic. It's a lot of people that talk about stuff but have no experience in what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? And and I would never want to put my daughter in that situation because I am an NBA athlete and I know how we talk to our coaches. I know the things we say coming out the games. You know what I'm saying? And you never want to put that woman in that position. Yeah, they probably can handle it. But when they start losing, those same $100 million players going to be sneak dissing these women. The first thing they're going to say, man, she, they, she should have been coaching men in the first place. And I know that comes that comes along with the territory, and women might not be worried about that. But these are the real things that's going to happen. And if you've never played in the NBA, you've never been on the NBA sideline, shut up. Because you don't know. Once again, you didn't make the L.A. fitness team. So only I only speak on what I know. I know who's good in basketball. I know who can play the game. And I know what goes on on the locker room and in the court. You know what I'm saying? Stop speaking out your ass, bro, because a lot of times uh, people know that that people know that half, when people just blurting out stuff, we know who have experience and, and who don't. We know who to listen to and who don't, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part. But I'm all for a woman NBA coach. I'm all for it. I just know what she going to have to deal with with these arrogant NBA players. Because it's, it's, it's $100 million players that can't play work. And that's just the facts. That's just the facts. Truth sound like to people who the truth. One thing they can't say is Steve Jack couldn't play. Ooh. That's when you hear crickets. That's when you hear crickets. But facts, though, man. That's a, that, that's, that's, that's a conversation that need to be had, bro. Freewell choked the coach. The game is full of emotions. The game is full of emotions, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got naked men in the locker room. Like, like it's 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 crazy, Q. Like it, it, it's a lot, it's a lot of things that go on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like even, even with a, a male, a male man coaching the WNBA, like he can't just slap a girl on the butt and be like, good game, like he can do the men. That's a part of the game in basketball, in men's basketball. Good job, bro. Slapping them. That's you can't do that to women like that. But these are facts that people hide. You know what I'm saying? Like, perfect example. People can say a lot about me, but they can't show no proof. You know why? Because I've been 1,000 my whole life. People got their opinions, but they can't prove it. Yeah, you know I mean. I stand on facts, not opinions. And I know the emotions of an NBA player. You you give a broke person, you, you give a broke person $50,000 and they finna act different. So just imagine giving a hundred million dollars to somebody. And you expect them to listen to somebody that never won or never played in the NBA. But when you got guys like Chauncey Billups, Sam Cassell, all these players who won in the who won at the highest level in the NBA. Chauncey was a finals MVP, and he can't get a coaching job. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But it all stems from these players who wasn't good in the NBA, they go run to the WNBA, 
to make them feel like that they deserve a coaching job because they were because they wasn't respected in the NBA and they taking these women jobs. And it's that simple. Truth sound like the people who hate the truth, bro. I know what I'm talking about. I've been a winner my whole life. I've been a winner my whole life on every level. Check the scoreboard. Get out your feelings and check the facts. I hate check the facts. I right? Thanks for tuning in to NIMAG TV.